Hi, you're watching Food Whims and Whimsy, and I'm Carmen De Pasquale, and today I'm going to show you how to make dessert crepes. So crepes can be filled with anything. It could be sweet, it could be savory, and today I'm going to be making two fillings, both sweet. One banana foster filling, which is a caramelized banana, and then again with one with Nutella and some fruit. So before we begin, let's go over the ingredients. Today I'm going to be using all-purpose flour, two eggs, a little, this is whole milk, about a tablespoon of sugar, and this is the crepe batter. I'm going to use a little water just to water that down a little bit. Now for the caramelized bananas or the banana foster, I'm going to be using about three bananas. This is about a cup of sugar. Um, I may use all of that. One stick of butter. And for flavoring, I'm going to use vanilla, but I'm also going to use natural banana flavor. Now for the Nutella crepe, I'm going to be using Nutella, some fruits. I have strawberries today and pineapple. I have some ready whip, so I'm going to use that, and maybe a little bit of powdered sugar just to dust it. Of course, you can use anything, but these are this is what we're going to be using today. So I'm going to start by adding the two eggs to the bowl. I'm giving that a little twist. I like to add this stuff of the, the liquid and the eggs before I add the flour because I don't want to add, I don't want to get the gluten going. So I'm going to add about one cup of milk. And about a tablespoon of sugar. That's about right. For this bag, I'm going to add a little vanilla. Add a teaspoon. I'm not going to add salt. You can add a little pinch of salt, but I'm going to use, instead of unsalted butter, I have salted butter today. So to control the salt, I'm just not going to add any to the crepe batter. And now, I'm just going to add the flour. I'm only going to mix it until it's incorporated. And it's always nice to let it sit for at least half hour so you can actually make this overnight if you like. Like I said, I don't want the gluten to go, so once it's incorporated, it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and let this rest for a little bit, about 30 minutes. I'm also gonna add about a quarter cup of water here. You want it pretty thin, like that. Okay, that looks good. So 30 minutes in the fridge. So I'm gonna start by just putting a little bit of butter and swirling it around there. Once the butter's melted like that, I'm gonna go ahead and put about a quarter cup scoop right in the pan. And you wanna like twirl it around, just like that. There's a little more. Okay, you don't wanna make it too thick, so that's about good. When it moves on its own, when it loosens on its own, it's ready to be flipped. So you get under there and you just kind of flip over. You want a little color. For a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and remove it now. Yeah, that's nice. And here we go. I'll just put it right here. And that's one. So now I'm just going to make the rest. I'll add this, give it a nice swirl. I know I need about one and a half of these, so give it a nice swirl just like that. So you just want to warm up a pan. And we're gonna use the whole stick of butter. Just to help it along, I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit. There we go. Now once that melts, we're gonna add the brown sugar. We're gonna add the whole thing. The nice thing about this recipe is that you can add more butter, more brown sugar, more bananas as your guests arrive or if you have unexpected guests. And this is a really quick dessert to make on hand anytime. I'm gonna go ahead and add the brown sugar. 
we got a nice little match. There we go. You can add cinnamon if you like. You can add a little flavoring of any sort. I'm going to add a little vanilla and a little banana flavoring. You can add something with alcohol like rum or 99 bananas, but uh, I'm serving this to children, so I'm just going to use a little natural banana flavoring and just a little flavor of vanilla, just like that. Put that mouth in. You can just have the three ingredients, banana, brown sugar, and butter, and this is absolutely delicious. Now I'm also going to add a little bit of cream just to make it more of a caramel and make it a little bit richer. You don't have to add this. I don't all the time. But you do make a nice little caramel with this. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add the bananas. That's about three bananas. Now you just let this go for a few minutes. You just want to warm up the bananas, caramelize the bananas a little bit. You want the right texture. You don't want them mushy. You just want them tender enough. Now that the bananas are done, I'm going to go ahead and assemble. Grab one crepe. Add a few bananas. Just like that. And then I try to just do a little fold just like that. And I do about two per person. Do another one. I also like to serve this with ice cream, so I put a little bit, but one scoop right here in the middle, just like that. Add a little bit more banana. Just like this. <laughs> this is so good. So delicious. People will go crazy. And if you like, you add a little bit of whipped cream. And some mint. Nah, I don't like the mint there. Let's add some whipped cream. Just like that. And maybe a little mint. And a dusting of, uh, what do you think, a little bit of white sugar. That makes everything look beautiful. So here's the banana foster crepe. It's absolutely outrageous. You're gonna go crazy for this, and it's so easy. So that's one. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the Nutella with fresh fruit and a little whipped cream. It's just divine. So for the next one, we're just gonna grab our crepe just like this. And maybe we'll roll this one, what do you think? We'll add just a little bit of Nutella. Give it a good schmear just like that. And then I'm gonna add some fresh fruit, all different ones. We have some fresh banana, we have some pineapple, some strawberries just like that and then we're gonna oh, roll it up just like that do two rolls this looks great I'll just do that here another scoop of little Nutella actually this is big enough for maybe one per person you be the judge of that A little bit of, bit of banana, some fresh strawberries and pineapple, just like that. Of course, you can use any fruit, any filling, and then just give it a nice little roll. Put that right here. I'm gonna add a little bit of whipped cream. like this. Doesn't that look pretty? Some fresh mint. <laughs> That's, I just picked these from the garden, but they're not so great looking. They were great looking just a little while ago, but they kind of collapsed. There we go. That looks pretty. Some white sugar.
looks good. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and serve this with a nice coffee and I'll show you how I make that. So one of my favorite things to serve with the crepes are a nice specialty coffee, one that you might get in a coffee shop. So I like to add a little French vanilla, just a little bit. I also add just a little bit of sugar. Of course, that's to taste. I add a little bit of cream. And then a nice freshly brewed coffee. I like it a little bit more blonde, just like that. And just to finish it off, I like to add a little bit of whipped cream, a little bit of cinnamon, and that's it. There you go. Specialty coffee, French vanilla, to serve with your dessert crepes. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed these dessert crepes. You're watching Food Rooms and Whimsy. I'm Carmen Di Pasquale. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy the coffee too.